In Jackson County, school board members there discussing the possibility of a millage increase. At tonight's meeting, the board voted to run an ad in local newspapers, letting the public know the details of the hike. More now from News 13's Ashton Williams. It's time again to discuss budgets for the Jackson County School Board. At Tuesday night's meeting, the topic of increasing millage rates was discussed. A lot of the discussion was on the recommendation uh, to go from one mil to 1.25 mil, which actually would not be a 0.25 increase. Millage rates are used to calculate property tax liability, which means if voted on, citizens of Jackson County would pay more on property taxes. McDaniel says it would hardly be noticeable. With our homestead exemption for the average homeowner, we're talking about, you know, $12 increase. So for the majority of homeowners who pay property taxes, it would not be a big increase. McDaniel says the money would be used to help finish paying the school board's portion of the new K-8 school in Mariana, so other similar projects can be started. We could not petition for special facilities funding for a school on the east end of the county for a K-8 for Grand Ridge and Sneeds until we've met our required effort for the K-8. Right now, Jackson County has 16 schools in its district. Plans are being made to consolidate some of the schools. Those kind of projects cost money and you know we get some assistance from the state for some of those. It's worth the investment when it creates savings in the long run. Some members of the board were against the millage rate increase, but they agreed to vote to run the ad for public knowledge. In Jackson County, Ashton Williams, News 13. There will be a public hearing at the Jackson County School Board meeting next Tuesday, 5 p.m. for the board to vote. Here in Bay County,